Well, you know, this one's definitely special, but we kind of know where I'm at right now, and it's hard we come out here and times don't reflect it. But we got world trials coming next week, so it's ready for that. You only run 43, is that why you're a little bit? A little bit disappointed? And not so much. I kind of, I fit 43. So my ultimate goal is 42. So, you know, we're progressing day by day, you know, at least another season's best. But, you know, when your goal is set so high, it's kind of, yeah. Are we a little cold outside for that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, the weather isn't ideal, but we all running it. So regardless of the situation, you gotta go compete. You know, with everything going on, your dad's moving off in Tennessee, all that, like, how has that affected these last few weeks when you're getting ready for this meet? Well, you know, that could most definitely be a distraction, but you never know what life throws at you. So you may be heading to the Olympics, heading to the world, and something random may happen, but you still have to learn to look through it and get ready to compete. So that's what we got to do now. Randolph, what can you tell me about some of the knowledge you picked up competing at the Olympics? It's a... It's a little rough, but what I can say the one thing I did learn from my father was to never put yourself in a position to let others make decisions for you. If we ran what we were supposed to, make it to the next round, make it to the final, there was no question who should be on the four by four. So it's just, that's something I still remember and look forward to life. Can you see yourself running an AMT jersey at USA's or is it going to be something else by then? I'm not too sure, you know. <laughs> I kind of take stuff day by day, you know. I have a lot of decisions to make, like father moving, a pro contract coming up. Yeah, that's a lot to like think about, yeah. So I just take it day by day and one, one event at a time. Thank you.